The Oscars just happened, but I do not agree with the results. So this week, we're going to have ChatGPT fix the results of the Oscars. And we're going to see if ChatGPT picks the same people that the people picked for the Oscars. We're also filming this a little bit in advance of the Oscars, so we don't actually know who won, but it will still make all the sense. <laughs> this week's episode is going to f***. Also, this is my new fursona. My name is Caprizi. The dog. <laughs> Caprizi's not good. I need, I need you to. I need you to, not good. I need you to not look at me with that mask. He's on. Italian. <laughs> He's an Italian. Why is he wearing a? Why? Hey, hey, I'm a Caprizi here. Don't no, shoot. I, that's not what you called yourself earlier. Didn't you call yourself like Wolf Fucker or something I'm like that? I'm not Wolf Fucker. Yeah, I think you called yourself Wolf Fucker. I'm not a wolf fucker. Scooters, do you think this is a good... Does this sound... Oh, man. It sounds bad. Did you get chicken? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this week, we're... No, but what... Okay, no. What's what's the deal? Okay, I, I saw this... For, I, I've always wondered if I would be a furry. Okay? And the thing is, I saw this on the internet, and I thought, oh, you know what? This is... You the eyes are too real for me. The <laughs> eyes are too <laughs> real for me. I'm like, I can't look at it. You look the at eyes me. are too you real. Guys, you guys would be Team Edward, not Stop Team Stop looking at me! Look at the camera. Don't look at me. <laughs> no, no, look. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> strikes again. <laughs> Uh, dude, the, 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 amount of jokes, like, the amount of jokes shit. I want to make right now, What's I fucking up? can't. It's insane. It. No, I can't. And I'm not going to. What I'm if gonna we make them and then bleep them out? I'll save it for the Patreon. Check the, I'll do the jokes in the Patreon. Okay, should we should we we'll, we'll start in the Oscars? We're gonna we're gonna do the Oscar nominations and the Why are you wearing a bulletproof vest? No one's coming for you. Oh fuck! <laughs> dude, there's nothing in there. Oh, and also yelling in this made it even louder. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> This is a bulletproof vest, dude. What the fuck is your problem, Frogan? You got my nipple exactly where it's at. <laughs> Stop turning. Dude, this is insane. What do, you, what do you mean it's insane? I just, I can't take you seriously with this. I can't take you seriously without it. I, can t I can't take you even more seriously. Would you seriously. not fuck me with this mask on? I would. Well, now hold on a second. Now wait a second. Look him in the eye. <laughs> And I get that feeling. I need sexual healing. Sexual healing. Imagine we get demonetized because you're singing the song. <laughs> We're monetized now. We're YouTube partners officially. We're selling out. Where did Caprizi go? I was a I was a dog the whole time. What? I like how it has all the hair. Oh, it's like a real dog. Oh, there's dog hair all over me now. <laughs> Why are you wearing the bulletproof vest? Dude, have you seen the comments on the last video? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get us all. Frogan's the main target in all that hate. You got yourself a bulletproof am, vest. Uh, the only, the most important part of the podcast is me. Let's be honest. Okay, I don't need to go out. I can refill it with any other hijabi. You put. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slur. That was just a straight up slur. Do you think the podcast would be anything without me? Imagine if it, if it was just you and Capri. I don't know. I think we could find another Brazilian anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you guys are making fun of me. Nobody, look at you. Look like just like one of the fucking monsters from Space Jam right now. Was this on sale because this was so last World Cup season? You know what I love about men? They come in here wearing fucking t-shirts and jeans every fucking week, and mm -hmm. I come here blasting fits. And I get made fun of. Yeah, you're blasting it. Already. Yeah, you're really blasting. It's so loud. I need his sunglasses. <laughs> now, Why did you get a mascot? It kept me from fucking snow blindness. Can I, be, can I be honest? Okay, so I was looking at Fashion Nova because I was trying to find fits for the a party we went to on Friday. And I saw this and I was like, this is so fucking ugly. I need to get it. You don't have to hate on your outfit you know if crazy? you bought it because you wanted no, to wear it. No, I dead ass bought it. No, I literally have the text messages with I. I'm sorry for making honest, fun with you. The way that Frogan bought that was the same way I bought this thing. She's like, this is so <laughs> fucking ugly. I need to but, get and then, it. But then I was like, I feel like I can make it work. What's it like having money that you guys can just spend on silly little things I like that? I have to pay this shit. And it was like 20 bucks. What's after pay? You know, you pay after. 
Okay. Four you payments. Buy, you do like four payments. Payment plan. You, pay, you did a payment plan. Like this stream is sponsored by no, Afterpay. Can check out the commercial. Dude, I wish. No, I, bought a, I bought a lot of clothes because I'm in my weight loss era and I have no clothes that fit me good. So I'm trying to buy shit that just comes in here, brags, really brag, annoying. brag. You know what's gonna happen? It's like I'm proud of you, yeah, but I'm brag, really brag, brag, brag. Really I've been stagnant you. though. I've been the same weight for like a month at this point. You, it's because okay. you only eat chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches. Once I'm back on my clean era, though, mm -hmm. it's fucking over. But yeah, anyways, I bought it because I was like, this looks so stupid. We call, my sister called them elongated basketball shorts, and I started <laughs> dying. And I don't know. I just thought they looked comfortable, so I bought them. Are they comfortable? I, yeah. I said this joke before, but I'm going to do it on the pod. You do look like you're from a juvenile music video from like the early 2000s. <laughs> I look like I'm on Shake like It a Up. Salt, yeah, like a salt and pepper like, music video. You look video. like you shop at Missy Elliott's closet. Oh, <laughs> actually, actually a really good reference. Yeah, yeah you do look like Miss Elliott. You look like you work it and then you flip it back and reverse it. You look like an extra from a 50 Cent music video from Bro, oh you're giving verse split. I mean, me at me out, dude. <laughs> 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 more, more like Miss e. Elliot. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sporty by any means, but oh, sporty spice. That's what you're giving right now. Period. Yeah, you are. You yeah, are. but they're so sporty. Comfy. Sporty zata. <laughs> <laughs> but the the annoying thing is, like, I got them a size too big, so I have to wear shorts under to create a barrier so they don't fall down. She just showed us. Oh, that's disgusting. So my underwear shorts. That's not on. That's disgusting. It's any shorts? any. And See, if you sir, if you anything that's under the unders. We it, get, you know, we we now this is the we get hate from both sides. Like, nope, you know. And right now, it's gonna be the Arab guys going. Oh, you your it's not my underwear. <laughs> you, so made this one, you made this. If, you made this. You know, if you want to get technical, so I don't want to get technical. No, I don't want to get technical. I don't want to get. So these are shorts, biker shorts, and uh -huh. then this is an undershirt that uh -huh. buttons like a fucking yeah, bodysuit. Like oh, and then I have underwear a on. Yeah, a turtleneck leotard. Mm -hmm. It's very hot, um. That's every one of my cousins. I'm layered up. So am I, dude. <laughs> Let me just ask you, what was it like doing a bicycle kick to get that winning goal last season? Because that was pretty sick to watch. I loved you in Air Bud. <laughs> She's the man with that with Amanda Bynes. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, men don't appreciate fashion. I'm I'm a furry named Caprice. No, you were a furry named Caprice. Now what are we doing? What are we doing here? What's well, happening? We're gonna start on the Oscar thing. I don't want to. I don't want to get too too uh, too into it. We do need to get into the Oscars. Yeah. So, so we are filming this right before the Oscars came out, but we are going to be telling you who the winners are going to be, and then having ChatGPT do the do that thing. So, yeah. So, so, so the deal is, we are going to start off with uh, each section. Uh, go through whatever the nominations were. Do you guys have those on you? I have them on my phone. Okay. But can I be honest? I don't give a fuck about the Oscars. Oh, here we go. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Why? why? Because I'll say it with you. Because Jake they Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal is, is always, always snubbed. snubbed. You're telling me this motherfucker never won an Oscar? If I won a streamer award, this motherfucker should get an Oscar. You paid the for stakes that award. are different. True. Stakes are different. But, like, you're telling me his only nomination was for fucking Brokeback Mountain? Yeah, in like 2000. Movie. It was a good movie, but in 2005. You're saying he doesn't deserve that? Being gay was risky. And he, did, he didn't win it. He just got nominated. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you guys are saying you guys were fucking. Oh, bro, 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 you were gay in 2005. That was the end of your career. <laughs> that was risky. One of, them is, one of the people in the movie is dead. Heath Ledger. Yeah. All I'm saying because is because of the risk. All mm -hmm. I'm saying is, Nightcrawler wasn't nominated. That's how you know this fucking award show is fake as hell. Okay, Nightcrawler was a great movie. I know he does a lot of independent stuff, and he does stuff through his own production company, which picks up a lot of independent projects. So I wonder if that has any effect on his Oscar noms, because you also have to apply for the Oscar nominations. Jake Gyllenhaal, can you please hire my friend Raffle Ticket to work for your production? Thank you. Thanks. I'll do absolutely nothing, <gasps> but admire you. No, he's going to put work in. I'll put some work in. He's going to be like, excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a job. I'll have you know that self-esteem. Do a slow zoom. Giraffes or do slow zoom on her. Just zoom close into her eyes while she does this. Go ahead. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a job. I'll have you know that the self-esteem movement popular amongst the youth have created. I forgot the whole thing, but yeah. What if was you the want attitude? What was the attitude from you Hold over on. there? He doesn't understand that if you want to make the money. 
If you want to win the lottery, you got to make the money to buy a ticket. You got to you got to make the money to buy a ticket. That guy is a psychopath. You're repeating the the lines of a psychopath and going, "Oh my god." You know um, what that guy is an entrepreneur. No, he's not. He's a psycho. You you talk you complain about your life. Yeah. Blue, blue, and, put yeah, the fucking and, work in. <laughs> you complain about your life. Silence. Yeah, and Blue Bloom put the work in. If you want to win the lottery, got to make the money to buy a ticket. Yeah, but he also says it like this. He's like, I believe that if you want to win the lottery, you got to make enough money slow to buy a ticket. To, slow Zoom on to Capri doing this. Slow I, zoom believe, eyes. I believe that if you want to win the lottery, you got to make enough to buy a ticket and fuck your entire persons that you know. Bleep out. Okay. No, put, put back in now. But play play reverse so it sounds like lick. Play key this. Yeah. Key. <laughs> but yeah, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. He's snubbed, and he's gonna be on Broadway next year, and I'm going. He's so When's crazy. the last time you read any Shakespeare? I don't give a fuck about Shakespeare. You're I'm gonna, gonna go I'm to gonna a go, fellow. Yes, I'm going to go. Let me ask you something. Do you know what a moor is? No. This is gonna be a good time. I it's love. Okay, time. here's the thing. Huh? He's doing a fellow. He's doing a fellow with uh, Daniel Watt, Denzel. Okay. Ha! I. I'm a fellow. Ha! I'm a woman. Is that a good Denzel? <laughs> was that a good Denzel or is that bad? That's kind of bad. But it also, you also need to say. Man, no, I can't yeah, do it. Yeah, you need to be like. No, I think that's like, like, that's fucked up. No, it's like Robert De Niro. They you know, do I bought a spray bottle and I forgot it at home. This would have been the perfect time to spray both of you motherfuckers. Why? What did we do? Because I was talking about my love for Jake Gyllenhaal and you interrupted me. But how many times have you, how many fucking Any- times can you do this on the pod? How many times? Okay, you- anyways, let me tell you. The reason why I'm going <laughs> is. I'm listening. Yep. Nothing I say is important to men. I'm listening to what. No, you I don't think it's just men. I think if we get women in here, they'll probably be like, "No, I." We Nothing agree. I say is important to anybody. Open your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah say it with your whole chest. Look uh-huh. at the world. Look at the world. I don't want to look at. Why do you want to see the play? Because Jake Gyllenhaal is an artist's work I admire, and seeing him in person acting was one of my favorite experiences I've ever experienced in my life, and I want to do it again. And I think that's lovely. That's a great. Oh my god! It was. When you were saying that, I... I think it's lovely. I, Don't listen to him. I shed a tear, and I thought about the time... You're going to make me say the K-word yourself. Okay, that's this fine. This close. That's fine. Uh, Be careful. I t- I'm, you we're can't all, say you that. You know what sucks is after this podcast, I'm in here. We're, uh, we're, all, uh, we're all going to the mountains, to the snow, and I'm going to be a little snow bunny. <laughs> I'm going to hang out in the snow with my dog. Are you a snow bunny? Do you, I don't think you can say that. What do you mean? What's a snow bunny? Like a little rabbit that goes around the snow. Like a little cute. Like me and Miles are going to be like together. We're going to hang out. You have a really unhealthy gay relationship with your dog. No, I do not. Have it's very unhealthy. toxic. One time this guy asked me if I was a snow bunny and I didn't know what that meant. And then I Googled it. What is it? It's a white girl that loves black men. Oh, that's racist. That's you. <laughs> that is you. That's, <laughs> that's so you coded. And it was in a Discord server. He was like, he was a Nazi in Hassan, like a legit Nazi in Hassan server. He would make alt accounts every day. Um, to the point where like we were expecting him, and that was in VC. He's like, "Frogan, are you a snow bunny?" And I googled it, and I was like, "No." And then he got banned. Riveting, dude. Racist people are like, I don't understand like how you're gonna be racist and so relentless. Honestly, I appreciate the effort you racist people saying? put in. <laughs> it's like I really gotta tell you that I don't like the specific race. I need to make 50 alt accounts. It's like, I've never thought of it like that. Yeah. Race being relentless and racist is insane. Yeah. It's just like, Hey man, you really do like at what point do you look in the mirror and go, maybe I'm the bad race. That just proves that racist people are unemployed. Cause like, how the fuck do they have all this time in the day? Most racist people I know are unemployed. The most racist person I know is very underemployed. That explains why you have no work. Who? You. You can't make claims that I'm racist. (laughs) You can't do that. You're very underemployed, and you are kind of racist. I'm not racist because I'm underemployed. Yeah. I'm not racist, period. <laughs> <laughs> the way you started that it was really bad. I tried to fix it, and it didn't work. I'm not racist because I'm underemployed. I'm just racist. I'm just racist. Bleep that all out. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, that took it. my brain for a whirl when I was, like, tr- computing it. Like, I heard, like, the... Yeah, that was my brain. <laughs> It was like whenever, like... You know what's crazy about this podcast? The amount of times that I get called a racist and a misogynist from her. 
Yeah, you know when they make those videos that like cancel people? Yeah. It's gonna be all footage from this fucking It's just gonna be her saying all these things like, see, these were signs. Just don't be a misogynist then. I'm not a misogynist. I've said this once, I'll say it again. I love women. And I've made love to many a women. I don't like the way you said that. I don't like the way I said that either. Let's uh, let's let's get into the let's put silly music. I just I don't He's definitely Are we ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Because of the multi patterns you have on your socks. Uh, if anything, it makes me great. I'm like connected. You know? just, I just, I'm Pangea, I just said, dude. I just said that. I you said, said the you said the reason that makes him racist. Not racist. Oh, not racist. I don't like this. See, joke. Look at I was saying the I reason was... why I call him misogynistic before we get into the Oscars is because he doesn't listen to me. Nobody ever listens to uh-huh. me, especially him. So if I knew, if I wasn't listening to you, how would I know that you were going to say that? The problem is, can I be honest with you? So, <laughs> so now you're saying I'm a predictable person. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah, that's that's exactly, exactly yeah, what yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. Hey, dude. Uh, Great. I just I can't move with the best. <laughs> you have to make it happen. This happens once a pod. No, it's okay. I'll save it again. It's okay. You can handshake on misogyny. I'm used to it. So the Oscars now. Move on. From <laughs> <laughs> oh, chill, dude. <laughs> I'm used to it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Now wanna, I got cooties. Yeah, you want to handshake on racism? Honestly, Do it again. that should be an honor for you. To get cooties? Yes. Cooties is me. just like what? Nope, I'm not going to make the joke. Let's move on. I was going to say it's like... Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> Put the black bar over my face. Let's add a tone. Tone and bars. Put tone and bars up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's what, what Goody's is, though, right? Yeah, it, it, it kind of is. It is. And yeah. that's what's like... It fucks with my... That's disgusting. I know. And that's why I don't want it. I have something to say now, but I don't want it in the podcast. No, I don't want it. Yeah, about let's not talk about it then. Let's not talk about okay, it. I, I Which word in my ear? I know what you're saying. That got real. That was way too real. That was way too real. That was way too real. I'd be so mad. I thought it was like a jokey thought. No, that was serious. You really have problems. Wait, hold on. That's no. rude. How does she have problems? I'm sorry. My work revolves around that fucking field. Or my degree revolved around that field. Fight. Yeah, but right now your work revolves around two Arab dudes and you in the room and you're going, misogyny, high five. We moved on from that. Can I do it, though? Nope, we moved on. No, at the end of the day, Raph and Capri are not misogynistic. They just don't <laughs> like me as a person. <laughs> 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 No, that dude. one is good. No, I don't agree because with that. Well, well, uh, I thought it was funny. I don't agree with that. No, 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 I love Frogan. No, I, th- I, I respect but I'm her. Saying, like we can get. Listen, we can mend our relationship for one woman. I think you wore we that bulletproof have... vest because you were afraid she was gonna like really shoot she you. Did hit have me. you seen the way she held a fake gun at the party? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I smell so good right now. All right, we're going to start the Oscar stuff. Let's yes. do it. Okay, let's start the Oscar stuff. My phone. So I've got all the bum, categories bum. here. Wait, that's that's Olympics music. Never mind. So here's the deal. We're going to start off by actors in a leading role. Okay, okay, sounds good. So the nominees were Bradley Cooper. For Maestro. 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 On the keys. Maestro. Maestro on the keys, Jordan. Coleman Domingo. I don't know what he was in. He was in Rustin. <laughs> Rustin? Rustin. I didn't watch that. Paul Giamatti, The Holdovers. I didn't watch that either, but I heard good things about it. Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer. D- Whoa. Mer. Oppenheimer. Jeffrey what are you, what Wright, are you, Italian? American <laughs> Fiction. Oppenheim. Oppenheim. I think I said it the German way. Uh, so anyways, the the nominees were those, and the winner was... I th- I'm, you could just, And the result is... The result is... Okay, hold on, on. hold on. Hold on. Before we do fucking what's his name? I love that guy. Uh, we don't actually know who won, so we're just going to have to rewrite it over our f- voices. So whatever I say, Draftster, we're probably going to just give you a dub for you to go over our voice. So the winner is definitely Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Why? Um, because it's an amazing movie, and I really enjoyed it, and I really like bombs. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> And I'm not going to make the joke. But what ChatGPT picked is ChatGPT told us, based on a number of factors and predictable probability, ChatGPT has selected it based on, I mean, it gave us like a whole list of factors, correct? 
And then it gave us a breakdown and it said the winner should be, should be to correct it. Oppenheimer, because it's a biological drama film directed by Christopher Nolan, my favorite director, based on a life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the American theoretical physicist who's often called the father of the atomic bomb. The film explores Oppenheimer's pivotal role in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II as part of the Manhattan Project. That is the winner by ChatGPT. Do you think that, do you think that it's going to line up? Think I think it's right. You think it's right? Wait, what did you say? Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. And you then they're saying Oppenheimer? Yeah, it said also Oppenheimer. Killian I don't Murphy know. Ki- Murphy's kind of busted. Okay, let's explore this. Wait, hold on. Let's explore you this. Think what makes is him wrong? Well, what makes him busted? Why do you not like Chad You don't like that he's Irish? What do you think should have won? Bradley Cooper from Maestro? She didn't see Maestro. I, I didn't watch any of those fucking movies and even watch Oppenheimer. I just don't like handsome Squidward looking motherfuckers. Does, he does not look like handsome. He kind of looks like handsome Squidward a little bit. He's not handsome Squidward. I can't deal with people that have blue eyes. So you want Bradley Cooper just because? What, wh- What's where did that come? Where does that come from? Have you ever seen a fucking mirror? Where does that come from? Do you, is that like a self hatred thing, or is that like? No, a, I like my eyes. I just don't like other mo- motherfuckers. I, me personally, so it's like I a just, selfish thing. I don't like men that have blue eyes. Why? I don't know. Seems racist. I just don't. Mm-hmm. What? How, what's what? What? What happens when like? What's it called when you're like, have a phobia of mutants? Oh, she's a mutant phobia. <laughs> I'm, I'm not mutant no, phobia. I'm, like, I, just, yeah. I don't know. I just think he looks like handsome squitter and his like. It's just icy, called racist. His <laughs> no, it's icy not. Blue eyes going don't add to his look. Again. Huh? His icy blue eyes don't add to his look of handsome Squidward. Okay. okay. He's just very unsettling. So to you me. think he doesn't deserve to win because of his blue eyes? Yes. Okay. I'll take that. I'll, can I just explain? Yeah. I thought Oppenheimer was a great movie. I thought he did great in the movie. I think he should win just because of his, his acting, but I thought the movie was mid. It was good. It was very good, but it wasn't as good as people think. It I was. don't know. I think Bradley Cooper's acting in Maestro was is really was really good and like really well. The thing is, I feel like there was a lot of biopics this year. It, well, dude, there's nothing out. The best movie that came out that really – change cinema for me personally was dune because it was like oh we can make a big budget movie Mm -hmm. and we could make it uh star wars-esque but it could actually fit for the world today right you know and i really enjoyed it and i was like oh it doesn't need to be fucking a disney popcorn cinema where you go in there it's like fun for the whole family i love I love. yeah it's gritty yeah all these biopics these are the ones that tend to win every damn year and nobody cares it's like the uh, like I know that the like the, is it the Academy that picks them yeah and like uh, there's a lot of people on the Academy personally like I don't know I think I thought Oppenheimer was good but like does the broader audience has the broader audience seen the rest of these movies I'm being a douche you know well the, it was it, who are the actors again Bradley Cooper mm-hmm. Coleman Domingo mm-hmm. Paul Giamatti Killian Paul Murphy. Giamatti did the holdovers which apparently was really good and and then what was the last one. Uh, Jeffrey and Killing Mur- Murphy and Jeffrey, Jeffrey Wright, Wright? American, American Fiction. Oh come on! I think he deserves that. I didn't see American Fiction, but for everything that I've heard, it's just been it's a great a movie. movie. I don't know. Chad GPT is picking on based on the roles. Also, uh, by the way, anyone who's gonna hate me for movie uh, ideas or whatever, I don't care. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me do the next one. You want to do actor in a supporting role? Uh, let me do actor in a supporting role, and, and I'll, I just I want to do it. I want to try this out. Okay. I'm going to see how this goes. Okay, here we go. So here's the... Uh, here's the. Jesus Christ. Yes. Let me see that. Okay, and then here's the... Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so, the Oscars. <laughs> you're, te- you're terrible at this. I, I did too much, I think. Do, do actor, actor in supporting role. Best actor in supporting role. Uh, the nominees are Sterling K. Brown, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., Ryan Gosling, and Mark Ruffalo. And obviously, Robert Downey Jr. won. The way Robert Downey Jr. trampled around in Oppenheimer as a bumbling, charismatic man who then became a bumbling fool, I think was a great transition for an actor to make. And so for that reason, I think he was a great supporting actor. Now, ChatGPT says and said... That the best, that the award for actor in supporting actor supporting film it was, it was Mark Ruffalo. Was oh, it was Mark Ruffalo? Yeah, it was. Mark oh, Ruffalo. cool. So yeah. ChatGPT and I both agree. So um, far, ChatGPT and I agree. No, he was in poor. Th- he was in poor things. Yeah, uh, poor things. Uh, 
stars Emma Stone. And it's a dark comedy comedy film based on a novel by Pushed by Sapphire. Alice Alice Dar Alice Dare Alice Dar Gray. It's set in Victorian esque uh era uh glasgow the story follows glad goodwin baxter a young doctor who discovers a drowned woman bella this is and all successfully from GBT, by the way yep and successfully revives her unbeknownst to goodwin bella is actually a creation of the eccentric scientist dr archibald mccandles mccandles McCandles? Just read it's this Chat is, GBT. Read Chat what, GBT read is like thought. Chat GBT is kind of stupid, dude. No, it's not. It's doing the who, Oscars. Who has implanted the brain of his deceased wife into the body of a of a the beautiful but artificial Bella? A Bella goes through life adjusting and pretty much growing up and finding a, essentially womanhood and figuring out the world through her new lens. And so yeah, I thought it was I thought it was a great movie. Chat GPT, that's a little synopsis there for you. Uh, Mark Ruffalo was also selected to win by Ceasefire Tracker. I wanted what? Ryan what Gosling to win. You wanted Ryan Gosling to win? Mm-hmm. For Barbie? He wasn't even nominated. He was. Oh, was he on that list? Yes. Yep. You think he's going to win? I, Probably. I have a confession. Hmm. Before Barbie came out, I was a Ryan Gosling hater. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I was like, mm-hmm. why are they getting this old ass man to play Ken? Like, I don't think he's ugly, but I, like, I'm, I don't think he's like hot shit. You know what I mean? But after seeing the movie, I was like, you know what? This makes sense. I thought he was a really good Ken. I haven't seen the movie. Barbie? Yeah. He was a very good Ken. I think that Barbie was a little overrated Mm -hmm. for what it was. It was supposed to be like, it was a women's empowerment movie. But I said the same thing a thousand times. There's a lot of better women empowerment movies. I want to push you around. It was really fun. It was a good movie. It was a very good movie, but it was overrated. But I personally think that the one that's the most overrated on there is Robert Downey Jr. and Oppenheimer. I know everyone loves him in that movie. I did not. I think that people just are not used to seeing him act not as Tony Stark, but I thought his acting in that movie was whatever. His best role for me still to this day is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Great movie. Top five for me. Oh, man, what a good movie. Yeah, that's his best role. If you guys don't know what Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is like a, a movie where he's <laughs> Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. He said Kiss Kiss, kiss, kiss Gang Bang. Kiss Bang Bang. <laughs> kiss Kiss said, Gang Bang. He said Kiss Kiss Gang Bang. <laughs> kiss Kiss that's Gang Bang. So, that's so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> kiss kiss gang bang no it's wrong i did it like an arab okay so here's the deal uh that movie have you seen that movie frogan you know the answer yeah okay it's really sick though he's an actor and or he's not an actor he's an actual robber and he's running away from the police and he busts into uh audition on accident and then he starts talking about the actual crime and he starts breaking down and crying and stuff and then they're like you're hired and he gets a role as an actor in like a detective movie. Yeah. And then he goes and like lives as a detective, like to like prepare for the role. Mm-hmm. And it's uh what's his name? Uh the old Batman guy. Um Michael Keat. No, not Michael Keaton, the other one. The one that was after Michael Keaton. Oh. Uh George Clooney? Uh, no, not Clooney. There was another one. Uh he was the one that took over for Michael Keaton, I think. Took over for Michael Keaton as oh Batman. Oh my god. He's like bald now, but he he was like handsome in the nineties. I forgot his name, but he's in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and basically they go around, and then there's like a real murder, and mm-hmm. it's a, it's a noir style film. But it's so cool seeing Robert Downey Jr. the way he like interacts with the characters in that world. He fits so well in that. Yeah. But then when I see Oppenheimer, I'm like, yeah, he's good, but like it's not. Yeah, he did good. He did good. But it, it, he was on screen for like what was it, 15 minutes the whole time? No, 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 no. It no. was on. More I think than it that. was. It, they tallied it. It was really low. Oh wow. Yeah, it was really low. He just wasn't on screen much. Yeah. So I don't know. Frogan, who's gonna who do you, who won Best Actress this on and this? Uh, uh, well, first of all, who are the no, who were the nominees? So the category I'm doing is actress in a leading role, mm-hmm. and the nominees are no fucking bitch I know. So the first one is Annette Benning in Nyad. Mm-hmm. Nyad. 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 Uh, the next one is Lily Gladstone in Killers of the Flower Moon. Mm-hmm. That's probably next one is Sandra Hewler, Anatomy think? of a Fall. Uh huh. Next one is Carrie Mulligan with Maestro. Mm-hmm. The final one is Emma Stone and Poor Things. Who won? Um, so Emma Stone and Poor Things won the Oscar, but Chad GPT thinks that Carrie Mulligan is going to win. For Killers of the Flower Moon. From Maestro. Maestro. I have a feeling that that's correct. I think Chad GPT got it right. Uh, I have a feeling as well. Out of all of those, I haven't seen. 
I've seen I've seen Emma Stone and I've seen um Carrie Mulligan. Uh Emma Stone did fantastic in that movie. And if she wins, I wouldn't like it wouldn't I wouldn't be upset at all. Did she you watch did Killers fantastic. Of the huh? Did you watch Killers of the Flower Moon? No, I haven't, but I, I want s- to. I saw the first half. How was it? It was really good. It's yeah, just Scorsese. that's a Scorsese film. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I felt. That's why I've been putting it off, to be yeah, honest. It's, it's like a. It's you need a, to be like in a mood to watch a Scorsese film. You also have to watch film. it at home. Yeah. I also hate that it, like, for me, it felt like the Scorsese. It feels like Scorsese lately. It hasn't been like an eventful thing to like go to the theater for his films, mm-hmm. and it kind of saddens me. But it is like nice that you're watching it. It's a three and a half hour movie. Yeah. But it's nice to watch like it at home to be like i'm not gonna watch this all in the same fucking breath right 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 i right, think right. That that's probably if i had to pick that's probably gonna win best picture killers, killers? yeah if i had to pick well I, the, the oscars are already out so you don't need to have to oh no, yeah 100 percent. <laughs> the, the winner is actually oppenheimer <laughs> i hope that didn't get edited out <laughs> uh okay this one's easy uh animated feature film the nominees were boy and the heroine you skipped the Supporting oh. actress. Actu- no, we we need to, we need the supporting actresses. You gotta read the stop doing the face. You gotta read the nominee and then you gotta do the thing. Why do I? Stop looking over there. No one's gonna help you over there. No one's over there to help you. What about that guy? <laughs> schizophrenia what, is what acting up. There, okay. No, there is a guy right there. I don't know who is that. <laughs> I'm not afraid to take a bullet for women. I just want to prove I'm not a misogynist. You've been taking bullets all day from a woman because of your misogyny. Protect yourself. <laughs> That's so rude. Fight him. 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 I'm not going to fight anybody. I'm not a violent person. I'm a pacifist. All I'm saying is you hit my eyelash. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, actress in a supporting role. The nominees were Emily Blunt for Oppenheimer. Uh-huh. Uh, Daniel Brooks for The Color Purple. Okay. The new one, right? The musical. The musical. Yeah, and then America, I didn't see that one. America Ferreira for Barbie. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Jodie Foster for Nyad. 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 And then, uh, I can't say this, Joy Randolph. Devine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. Okay. What do you think? Well, the winner's well, the actually winner. from, the winner's actually easily Devine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. Okay. Okay. Good job, Devine uh, Joy am- Randolph. Amazing. Uh, amazing supporting actress, uh, obviously amazing. I loved the movie. I loved how it coincided with another film that blew things up, and it was this like whole event of the summer. It was awesome. Um, and then ChatGPT selected Niad, which is a riveting biological. This is what ChatGPT has. To yeah. Say. Okay. They said Niad. It's a riveting biological film that chronicles the extraordinary life of an endurance swimmer, Diana Niad. The movie d- delves into Niad's relentless pursuit to conquer the treacherous waters of the Florida Straits from Cuba to Florida at the age of 64 with a focus of Ni- that didn't make any sense with a focus at Niad's unwavering determination the film explores her numerous failed attempts the physical and mental challenges she faced and the personal sacrifices she made along the way through the intimate interviews stunning actual f- archival footage and well, that was just a bunch of words you just said. Well, it's weird, dude. And dramatic reenactments. Niad captures the essence of Niad's indomitable spirit and her remarkable achievement. Can I tell you why ChatGPT sounds weird sometimes? Why? Because it's it's a predictive model. It's not actually thinking. It just predicts what the next word is going to be. Ah. Uh, so the way it works is it like... So AI sucks. Yeah. It yeah. basically predicts like what's the most... What's Logical. the next word? Yeah. It's not predicting like what the whole paper is going to look like. It predicts what the next word is going to be. So sometimes it like does it in really weird things. Mm-hmm. So I didn't get to see this movie, so I don't want to talk too much about stuff I don't, I have not seen. Um, I saw, to be honest, Emily Blunt and Oppenheimer. It was good, but it wasn't like, it wasn't a role that I was like, oh my God, Emily Blunt in that movie. Was no, awesome. I agree. Um, America Ferrer and Barbie was whatever. I don't think she was the best in that either. Um, it was Jodie Foster that's in Yad? Yeah. I'm sure that's amazing. I, yeah, I, 100%. I'm sure that's amazing. Who And then uh, who was the other one? It was uh, Devine Joy Randolph. I don't know who that is. Yeah, what was the movie? Oh, for Holdovers? holdovers. <clears throat> I don't know. That one's, the Holdovers has been getting a lot of buzz. Um, and recently it's been getting a lot of buzz for plagiarism allegations. I don't know any information on that, so don't, really? don't quote me on that. That's what I've seen. I could be wrong. 
But I heard Holdovers were, was a good movie, so hopefully the winner won, won you know? Yeah. Uh, can I read this next one? Because I have a lot the to say animated? about it. The yeah. animated? All right, go ahead. I have a lot to say about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, animated feature films were The Boy and the Heroine, Elemental, Nemo, Heron. 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 Oh. Nemo. It's okay. Frogan made the same mistake earlier. Mona, Robot Dreams, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Mm -hmm. And uh, the prediction... Well, who won? Well, the winner was obviously The Boy and the Heroine. Right. Because that is probably the best animated feature I've seen in years, I would say, personally. It's not? Overrated. I don't think so. Yeah. So anyways, and the chat GPT predicted Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse in a highly anticipated sequel to the groundbreaking animated film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The story picks up with Miles Morales, the young Spider-Man, continuing to navigate the challenges of being a superhero while balancing his personal life. However, his world is once again turned upside down when he crosses paths with Gwen Stacy, another spider-powered person from another dimension. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't know if I should say. Am I allowed to? Yeah. Bro, I'm going to cover your face and went... Boring? Yeah. You don't like... You didn't see this? No, we saw it with her. Did you fall asleep at Spider-Man? No, I was wide awake during Spider-Man. It was it was a big group of us. It was me, Scootish, Nandre, Carter? Carter, Oxy. Oxy. Well, that's why you didn't like it. You went to, with too many people. No, I mean... No, the most memorable thing from seeing Spider Verse was the Transformers trailer. <laughs> <laughs> was the Transformers trailer right before the movie, and like they make sure to show the Twin Towers still <laughs> in the Transformer universe, and we all start dying laughing to the point where the person controlling the fucking like commercials literally skipped it. Yeah, but they didn't let us finish watching the Transformer trailer as soon as. Our roasts are dying laughing at the fact that the Twin Towers are there. They skipped that shit. Remember that? They yeah. skipped the thing? Yeah, as soon as we saw the Twin Towers, oh, we all started dude. crying. Oh, that's right. What the fuck? They skipped the trailer. We we said very loudly that Starscream did 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> <laughs> Did we watch the Nat win instead? No. That was great. Why not? I mean, we, got, we got through all the bigger the bigger ones. We should just skip over to best picture. Yeah, I, I can agree. I be honest? I hate this segment. Yeah, so do I. You know, <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> yeah, we should probably just. I want to read the best picture. All right. Well, wait, who? Okay. So great. So ChatGPT picked uh, best uh, best um, animated feature film was uh, was that. And uh, it was Spider Man into the Spider Verse, but the biggest one, I think that that one's gonna win too. That movie hurt my fucking Elemental eyes. Elemental sucked. Elemental was not good. Did you see I it? I watched it. It's it's dude. Who'd the, you watch it with? It's on TV. It's like on everything for free right now. You just watched a Disney movie by yourself. You don't watch Disney movies by yourself. Are you not by depressed myself? enough to watch a Disney movie? No, I watch it with somebody else. I can't believe you didn't like Elemental. It was not as good as Spider Man. Can I be honest? I saw the commercial. I. It was awful. Okay, it was no. Out I don't think. I don't trees. think you would have liked it. I, it was not good. I, it's about race, and I, I, it's like, yeah. <laughs> wants to watch a movie about that? Am I right? I'm not doing that. No, I see how it is, huh? Yeah. I thought it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that one should win either. I think the boy and the heron should win. Really? I fucking love that movie. I didn't see that one, so that's probably my. That's probably my stupidity. All right. All right, moving on to Best Picture. The uh, the nominations are what, Capri? All right, Best Picture, which is the most important, is uh, the nominees for Best Picture are American Fiction, mm -hmm. Anatomy of the Fall, uh -huh. Barbie, okay. The Holdovers, okay. Maestro, right. Oppenheimer, Ooh. Killers of the Flower Moon, Ooh. Past Lives, Ooh. Poor Thing, uh -huh. and The Zone of Interest. Okay. And the winner from ChatGPT is... Well, who won the who won the thing? You know why this bit isn't fucking working? Because you're doing it out of order. <laughs> you tell us who won, and then we do the ChatGPT. ChatGPT picked the correct winner this time, and the winner is Oppenheimer. There we go. Okay, and that it's works. probably the same winner of the actual thing because it's it's a Martin Scorsese film. It's probably yeah, it's probably gonna win. It's it a gripping cinema drama based on true events directed by Martin Scorsese, set in the 1920s. The film explores the sinister conspiracy behind a series of investigate. Oh my God, this is, doesn't make any sense. Series of investigated murders targeting the members of the of the Osag Nation in Oklahoma who had become wealthy after oil was discovered on their land. 
As the death toll rises, the newly formed FBI is called to investigate. It's a really good movie. You should watch it. I only saw the first half. <laughs> Do you think Barbie was going to win? Barbie might win. You think Barbie's going to win best? Oppenheimer victory? won. I think so. People, I it just it, sucks, dude. People <laughs> ate it. Huh? Uh, ate it up. Barbie? Yeah. Did you, what do you think as a woman? Do you think that that was like, oh, it's such a woman <laughs> picture? I didn't feel, like, listen, I was like, okay, like I understand what they're going for, but I didn't leave the theater like, wow, I love being a woman. I'm like, all I was, I was like, okay, yeah, everyone feels this way. That they love being a woman? No, about like having existential dread and like wanting to kill yourself. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But I like the colors. I liked how it was pink. That should win just based off the colors. It was it was a good movie. I thought I had a good time. I like the fact that it had Chevy Blazers ad blazer ads all in it. Did it really? Yeah, I wanted one. Oh, because mm. all the cars are being driven around in a little mm-hmm. Barbie world. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Bar- dude, you know what they'd be sick? Barbie Land. I think they're doing that. Uh, what really? I think so. Oh my god! You just said I think so. Google. Yeah, that's it, the shit I, happening. Can I be a hater? Huh? Can I be a big ass hater? Yes, yeah. of course you can. The shit I hated the most is like the girlies would be like, "Hey Barbie," to like random girls on the. My stomach's going crazy right now. They'd go like, "Hey Barbie," to like random girls on the street, mm-hmm. and they'd be like, "Hey Barbie." Like that was a whole fucking bit for like two months after Barbie came out. You didn't like that. I mean, nobody, what was the reason? Because I'm a hater. Did you remember that there was like, did you ever, did you guys see the drama with one of the Ken guys that was playing Ken that everyone hated him on set and they like called him a creep and there was all these like fake drama videos where like they would like. See me, Liu. Yeah. See me, Liu. See me, Liu. No, I didn't hear about this at all. Yeah. There was like drama that everyone hated him on set and like every time they did interviews together, they were like a dick to him. What was the reason? They just said like he sucks. So they all were like, everyone was like distancing themselves from him. This is like, fa- I don't know if this is real drama or fake, but it was on my fucking, okay, it was on YouTube shorts. I'm not going to lie. It, it was it, on my YouTube shorts. It's mostly fabricated. It's mostly fabricated. I feel like they people do this about every vid- movie to like get, generate hype and buzz. Like there's drama on set or, that's why like, okay, method acting. Do you think it's real? Do you think method acting actually helps? Or like when fucking, you know, uh, Jared Leto sent dicks and fucking dead rats to people on the set of Suicide Squad and made it a better movie. Method acting. Well, no, he all... sucked, but he also is not a good actor, just period. So he doesn't know what he's doing with method acting. Jared Leto or Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> <laughs> is that even a Jared question? Jared Leto or Thought's daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's no actor, in my opinion, I love more than Jake Gyllenhaal. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm standing right here. <laughs> yeah, you don't like rap? Wow. He's an actor. Okay, gun to, gun to my head, Whoa. if I had to pick... Gun to my head, Jake Gyllenhaal. Hold on, no. <laughs> gun to my head, if you're... Like, if I had to pick Raph's life or hold Jake Gyllenhaal, no, I'd shoot no, 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 hold on. If they're, like, if they're like, gun to Give your head... Fucking, where's the gun, gun to your head, who's your favorite actor, Jake Gyllenhaal or Raffle Ticket? I'd pick Raffle Ticket. Yeah, but you didn't just, you didn't say that. You just said that after I made, you won't a, let made me, a huff you and a puff. You won't let me watch any of the movies or anything. I'll in. be honest with you. you gun to your head! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching our Oscar bit. It went great. We had, a, we had a board if meeting. You, if you skipped to this part of the video because you got bored of the Oscar bit, I'm so Don't worry, sorry. Frogan did too. Yeah. She said it very verbally yeah. to me. Because <laughs> he looked at me. I'm just like, I'm like, I can't deal with reading. She, Frogan, for a month now has been, I have resting smile face. I do nothing but Dude, smile. Dude, she literally, oh she my literally, God. Not, I was like, hey, hey, wake up. She's like, I'm bored. I'm like, yeah, but do your resting smile face. You're a fucking terrible actor. If I had picked, you're the <laughs> worst. my head, I'm doing Jake Gyllenhaal. Dude, my favorite thing is, my favorite <laughs> thing is. your head, somebody's like, Frogan or Jake Gyllenhaal? Jake Gyllenhaal, 100%, dude. <laughs> when Frogan got can- when Frogan got canceled by the people, they're like, this is fake. I'm like, dude, she's the worst fucking actor in the world. Nothing's fake. She does. She can't act. She can act. No, she cannot act. She, she can't even act she like acts- she's interested in the fucking podcast. She acts like she act. likes you. <laughs> no, she likes me, see? I know he don't don't want to sh- I know he don't. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, that made me so I nauseous. I, I, that made me so I know, nauseous. I know he doesn't want to shake my hand. That's why I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. I didn't. He'll shake didn't. your hand. I'll shake, huh? your, I'll shake your little hand. We shake hands all the time. He'll shake your hand. No, I, I knew he would much. He has a firm grip. Thank I, you for I saying a, that. I have a firm grip. <laughs> all right, Whoa. grippers. Oh, she got. She got that. Bleed me out for this one, please, <laughs> Rouser. For the love of God, please bleed me out. She got that.
sanitize. Never mind. Sanitize. <laughs> never mind. It's never mind. Sa sanitize. You know, you sanitize. I was, never mind. Like, I was. I was gonna sanitize. It's right behind you. Sanitize. Bleep that out. <laughs> Sorry, we're having, we're, having, we're, we're having a situation right now. We're having a situation right there. Sanitize. There is the bottle. Run, run, run up, scoot, and just give it to me. Like, make it look. Yeah, yeah. You just squish, squish it. No, no. Don't put it in your <laughs> hand. You're such a fucking little bitch. I fuck it. You, dude, we're going to replace him. Can we? Do you know what it's like having a Gorilla Grip coochie? <laughs> bleep that one out, too. <laughs> Actually, don't bleep that one out. Leave that in there. Do you know what that's like? I thought of a Gorilla coochie. It's Women's History Tomorrow. It's, week. Been was, it's been a week. Was, uh, it's been a week. What does it feel like to be a woman on Women's History Month? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a woman. <laughs> I'm a woman, but I haven't been treated differently. Really? Yeah, and that's how it should be. I shouldn't have to treat you any differently than I do because of a day. I just want more respect. On that day? Just oh, on that I, day? You know what day <laughs> no, I, treat, I give you nothing but 100% of my you know respect? You know what day I treat people with respect? Huh? Their birthday. No, you didn't even do that on Frogan's birthday. Yes, I did. I treated Frogan. I came to a shitty restaurant, and pretended I liked it. That's true. He did go to a shitty restaurant, and pretended that he liked it. That's, it that's a shitty. lot of respect. It wasn't shitty. I had a good time. I had a great time. I had such a good time on your birthday. I had a great time. Actually, I did have a very good time. Okay. I had a very good. I I genuinely did have a very good time. You I always say that <laughs> because she's gonna get upset. I don't understand. She wants me to respect her so bad, but how can I respect somebody who slips on cheese and falls down two flights of rows <laughs> at a concert? <laughs> Did we talk? We didn't get to talk about the No, concert. we're talking about it right fucking okay, now. Okay, can I be honest? What? Stan spilled that cheese. Dude, we were saying that. Stan, I, if you're on the off chance that you're watching this somehow, I'm just going to send this clip to you. We know, we know you, you spilled, spilled the okay. cheese. And it's okay. We love you regardless. We love you, Stan. Well, no, we don't. We're scene, mad about okay? the cheese situation. So, it's just you, collateral damage. Let's set the scene. So Raph and I left because he wanted to get a drink and I wanted to look at the merch. Um, and... In the meantime, like we had fucked up seats, we, so well, it's you, a, you didn't explain the concert at all. Okay, we went and saw one of my favorite bands ever, Fall Out Boy. Okay, I've been listening to Fall Out Boy ever since I was a kid. I was raised on them. Um, this is my tenth time seeing them. If, um, this gets, if this gets clipped and we get canceled by any of our friends, I'm just gonna put this mask on so no one knows it's me. So it was my tenth time seeing them, and this time I went with like a huge ass group of people. Usually, I either go with one friend or by myself. Um, we got so usually I'm front row. But this time I was like, whatever, gonna be uh, with my friends. And we got there and the seats were fucked. It was like literally behind the stage and you couldn't even see any of the bands and like you had to watch them on the TV. So we all were like, what the fuck? It was uh, me, Raph, Capri, Scootish, Game Pass, Mind you, we Jarvis. Paid for a side I'm talking stage, Jarvis, <laughs> Alana, Stans, and his wife. Mind you, we paid for a we made we paid for side stage. We got backlight stage. Yeah, so they they scammed us because I've had Taylor Swift tickets that were side stage, but it specifically stated obstructed, and my seats were so much better than what we had at Fallout Boy. So they scammed us. Mm -hmm. Um, so Jarvis, Alana, Stans, and his wife all bought new seats, mm -hmm. but Capri's cousin had a box. Technically, we were supposed to have the box, and we gave them to my cousins because we were like, oh, we already have seats, so you guys can go in the box. We'll just go back and forth. So we did that because we didn't have enough tickets for everyone. So I was like, okay, no problem. Right. So we did that, and I walked back, and then like his stance and all of them were gone, and I was like, what happened? Like They left. <laughs> they bought tickets. <laughs> and I was like, uh, Which is good for them. I'm like, power to them, dude. Get those <laughs> get those better tickets. You guys you guys want to see their show. I was a joke, and I came back. I felt so bad because I came back with beers for everyone, and like nobody's there. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. And I, at that point, I was already drunk. I was like drinking all these, and I was like, oh, well, let's just all go in the box. Yeah. No, but Fall Boy's like one of Jarvis's favorite bands ever, no, 100%. too. 100%. Um, so Raph and I left because I wanted to look at Merch, and he wanted to get a drink. And I came back and I saw cheese was spilled on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I made a very conscious effort to, I step to, over. to step over the cheese. I stepped over the cheese first, got to my seat because was, was standing. I had, too. well, I had a plate of food in one hand and drink in the other hand. And then Frogan, she, I got you know, I'm just going to reenact Where did the cheese come from? Uh, I'm just going to reenact can, can I tell you before? Yeah. Because when I sat in that seat with Scoot. I sat down on my seat, and number one, I remember consciously, I was like, I don't like this seat at all, and I'm having anxiety because it feels like I'm over the fucking edge like this, okay? And I'm going to have a fucking <laughs> panic attack. Okay? Right, So right, I'm getting right. us in the box. That's all I could think is, like, we're going back to the box, okay? I, I, yeah, your anxiety took over, I okay, know. My anxiety took over. I come back, and it couldn't be worse. There was cheese on my seat. So I looked <laughs> at it, and I go, uh-uh. I went back outside again. 
and found my cousin. And then you guys go, Frogan slept on the cheese. So I thought you spilled it. But <laughs> yeah. I went back and I sat and Stans was eating something, but I didn't know if it was chips. I don't want to like, I don't like, let me smell your breath. Is it, is it chips? You I know? think he was eating nachos, yeah. Dude, yo, what happened to you? It was a hot dog. So someone so walked by and spilled cheese. And I want to know who the fuck had a did box. It. I thought it was scooted. I'm not going to lie. Why would, would Stans have a. Did you see Stans do it? No, I just. We don't know. Hold on. So, and so, and so I made a, so right. I had an ice cream sandwich. It was a, a Mrs. Fields chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich. I was I haven't had an ice cream sandwich in a while. I haven't had anything like sweet in a while. So I was indulging in this shit. I made a conscious effort to step over that cheese. Apparently, my legs are short as fuck, and I stepped in the cheese and I slid, <laughs> fell into the row in front of us, <laughs> she and threw forward. my ice cream sandwich <laughs> over the barrier. Yeah, <laughs> you threw your ice cream sandwich over the barrier. I hope Jimmy Eat World liked that ice cream sandwich because that shit was gone. She and then, flung it. and then here's the thing. You know how I knew it was serious? I was waiting for this motherfucker to laugh. And as soon as I looked back at him and I was crying, laughing. Nobody he, told me this. And as soon as I start, I look back at him crying, laughing. He goes, ah! <laughs> and like he starts screaming, laughing. Because I saw, I saw you, I saw you go over the edge, and I was like, ah! Uh, but I couldn't do anything. I had a plate of food and a drink in a hand. And I was like, what am I gonna do? So I watched her tumble forward, and I looked at her, and I was processing what to do in that moment. And then she looked back like this because she was up in the row in front of us. I started dying laughing. Dude, my thigh is literally all bruised. It's not Did that you get bruised. Any cheese on you? On my shoe. Yeah, she slipped. It was slippery. So yeah, I know it was in my fucking seat. So stands. I know you. I know you dropped the. But yeah, it was so fun. I got to see my favorite Fall Boy song live ever, "Bang the Doldrums." I was feral at that concert. I fucking had so much fun. It was great. It was great. We went we went into the box and uh, I just it was unlimited drinks and stuff and I just had a great time after that. I stood up at the front the entire fucking time. I did not look back. Yeah, you were like standing Good. there. Yeah, you look like our little kid looking out there like if you listen it, oh. oh my god, a Cobra Starship came out. I was oh, like, was What cool. the fuck? That was cool. I manifested Gabe Supporta. I literally talked about him on stream like two weeks ago. Manifested gay support? Gabe Supporta. Oh. That's yeah, lead singer of Cobra Starship. Yeah. But yeah, that shit was great. That shit was a good time. It was a, it was a really fun time. Uh, Scootish wanted to have a dirty dog on our way out. <laughs> we kept telling him no. <laughs> like it's gonna hurt your stomach. He's like, I want one. And he yelled at me because I kept making fun of him for wanting a dirty dog. Cause I think he was hangry. Dude, I was so hungry. <laughs> was that was so a moment. I wouldn't trust those street dogs. Like I wouldn't eat a hot dog from a New York cart. I think the no, thing no, 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 no. The thing different. about those carts, no, no, they're fine. The thing about those carts is that night there was one every six feet. The How only reason why I told reviews? Scoot he could not have a dirty dog is just because he just got over a stomach virus and God forbid he eats it and gets all fucked up again. What do you think is worse for your stomach, dirty dog or Taco Bell? Dirty dog. A dirty Taco dog. Bell. What? Bell? Chad, no, at, least, at least there's like FDA like fucking approval for Taco Bell. I, over college, had so many water dogs. New York dogs are different, though. I New York dogs so. are different. I think, so. I think they're worse. No, they are, but it's different. I think hot dogs on the East Coast are, are a much different beast. It's a different beast. A different, there's also Same regular, name, there's, different beast. There's, I'll tell you why, okay? The New York hot dogs, I'm almost positive you have to have a license to be there. Yeah, you have to. They I have, like, they have the like dirty like dogs in LA. In the window. You know, most people don't have licenses; they just pop up. Yo, I don't know if that's true. What no, if we just showed I up with a wrong. fucking hot dog cart outside of a concert one day? And we sold hot dogs. That'd be sick. You know, because you they don't we have make any a lot of money if you sold like. You uh, have to post uh, it on your yeah, cart. Yeah. Like I didn't see. It. Here, here's how I. Here's what I'm. You assuming. have to put food code. You stuff have to put on your food cart on your cart. On the New York ones, they're all over the place. I've seen them in LA. There's nothing. It's just a dude. Which yeah, is, it, it's probably better that way, but there's no regulation. I think it is. I think it is one company, and they go, "Hey, there's an event here. Just go. Everybody set up." That may here. be. That may be it too. Yeah, because I know that the events probably they don't care. It's because I think it is classified as a food truck, but they don't necessarily have a truck. They just have there's a, there's things. a permanent dirty, dirty dog stand kind of close to where we're filming right now. Yeah, and I've had tacos there before, and dirty dogs. It's amazing. It's I went to a concert. It so good. It, do, I know they it smells so good. good. Every it's time it's the like, onions and peppers that get you. Yeah, it's not the dog and, itself. Yeah, the dog itself is probably whatever. The dog we had in L.A. that one day fucking slapped at that one uh, bar in L.A. I don't know. I was really mentally oh, ill. Yeah. I can't tell if I was like if it was good or if I was just having a mental. No, episode. yeah. My my theory is that like whenever you eat a hot dog, you're going through a mental health crisis. 
No, I just I like that. Or nostalgia for childhood. Yeah. Do you does anyone ever crave a hot dog? Yeah, Sometimes. When, I'm, when I'm down bad. For who? For not what? like like not when you're down what bad. Do you mean down who are you down bad for? Down, you, you, no. She watches one night crawler and goes, I gotta eat a, I I gotta eat a I gotta eat. Uh, a no, not down bad in that way, like in a sad way. Oh. Like when I'm down feeling, sad. Yeah. <laughs> so last week, how many hot dogs did you consume? Seven. Zero. I had something even worse. But what'd you what have? Little Caesars. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you could buy a whole pizza for five dollars, you should read. I didn't even eat life. it. I literally ate one slice. I was like, "This is not me. This is not you." Bitch. I just like if you order cheese pizza from Little Caesars, what are you doing? You gotta order one of the fun ones, like their mac and cheese. Little Caesars like is there. like, I need to go somewhere and I need a pizza right now. Okay. If you're ordering it to your house, you're like, what are you doing? I literally hate Little Caesars, too, so I don't even know why I ordered it. Why did you not order, like, a Domino's or, like, a Pizza Hut? Or like I don't a, know. What do you think is the best ranking pizza of, like, the, the, For like the chains? Yeah. Jets pizza, chain-wise. I, I don't have a Jets. We have it on the East Coast. Fucking best pizza there ever. There is a Jets pizza on the East Coast. It's all right. What about I mean, uh? What about um? Juniors on in Florida. It's not really a chain, though. I, they have a really good pizza. But if we're talking about chains. Like the mass chains. Okay, it was for the longest mm. time. It was Papa John's yeah. until Domino's changed their recipe and changed like their crust and stuff. And then Domino's it's been Domino's best. like top tier for a long time. Domino's has been my favorite since high school. What do you think, Pizza Hut? I don't really. Uh, I have a confession. I haven't tried any of those. What? You haven't tried any of what? <laughs> like the chain pizzas. Like okay. Whenever to I be fair. Wait, wait, wait. Fair. Hold on, hold on. Whenever I asked, I... Wait, hold on. Can we stop real quick? Yeah. Pause this. I asked you two fucking seconds ago, what's your favorite chain pizza? And you go, Jets. Yeah, because it's like a, a Michigan thing. But like, whenever I lived in Michigan, I ate from like local places. Yeah, so do I, but. And even when I lived on the East Coast, not in Michigan, I ate from local You know places. what it is? It's because Frogan, Frogan I can't has either. never had like a drunk night before. So she's never had to like, I have to order pizza here. Domino's is open. She's never had those situations and I think a lot of our situations are that. She just did it the other day with little fucking Caesars. First of all, don't you dare take that tone with me. Change your tone. Change your goddamn tone. <laughs> that, that, your logic makes no sense. Don't she why have, are you slurring your words? Because she because I'm drunk with compassion. <laughs> she doesn't have drunk <laughs> nights. You know what she has? What? Depressing nights. It's just like being drunk. You're like, oh, my life sucks. It's not the same, it's dude. It's the same. No, it's not the same. Frogan, have you ever had Taco Bell? No. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I saw you fucking. That's what you get for expecting an answer from her. I don't care. You don't listen to her. Respect her. R S P C C P C T. I like how we're both arguing about why Frogan hasn't bought a fucking hot dog. We're both arguing about what Frogan could just answer. Why yeah, have you never she had can't speak for herself. She's a woman. Okay. So let me know. Why, have you never, <laughs> why have you never had a fucking chain pizza place? Because I local places are better. Local no, place. I can't Stop. do that. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. I don't know. I just like the local places and like. Well, no, I, obviously the local places are better, but we're saying you haven't had an experience where like a local place wasn't open. Even when I ordered Domino's and I lived on the East Coast, I never would order pizza. I'd order like the the breadstick bites. Okay, Inside. well, how are the breadstick bites? Shitty. All right. Well, Inside of me, there are two wolves. <laughs> One wolf. The fucking doesn't respect Frogan his rights. Those are both of your wolves. Yeah, I was, well, let me get to the second one. Okay. The other one doesn't either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, do you want to wear the wolf mask now? No, not really. I really want to know what it's like talking to someone with a wolf mask. Am I turned on by I it? just don't... Because here's the deal. Let's I... back that Let's back that one up. Oh, hold on. <laughs> here's the deal. See, I touched... <laughs> you like, no, he touched your hand. Sanitizer. He tried to take my move. Okay. When I'm trying to like ask for <laughs> compassion, you like listen. He stole my move. I don't touch people. I yeah, don't. I know. It was really yeah, weird. Yeah, so whatever you do, it's like weird. I'm it's not like gonna clammy. Lie. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, it's not clammy. It's not clammy. It's like a claw. You know that I'm. You know. You know. You got club hand. You know what I'm saying? I shook people. Do you know what I'm saying? When I touch you, it's shook. Yeah, you're. I like, never touch anybody. You're like static shock, huh? You, I know. You do. You do. You, I don't. You, I think you. Do. Uh, when we said, by, by she the way. actually doesn't touch people. True. Shook. Nobody wants to touch me. Don't say that. You don't want to touch you all the time. Yeah, that's an, like, that's not inappropriate. I was joking. That's not That's why I laughed. If I if I was serious, I'd be like, I'd be sad. Be like, I've seen your DMs. Yeah, they're dry as fuck. No, I've seen your DMs. No, my, my you, gotta, you gotta open up those requests. <laughs> my requests. Are, no, if I was like being serious, I'd be like, nobody, fuck. 
I already talked about this on stream last night, okay? I, I got the doomerism out. So okay. now I'm just chilling. Okay, here's the Good. deal. Good, I like that. Here's the deal. If it's I that put, time of the year. If I put this on, speaking it's of... It's that time of my life, to be honest. It's all year-round occurrence. But it just happened. So how can you how can you say that it's an all year occurrence? What do you, mean? you said I just got the doomerism out. Oh. So how can, so I, ana so analytically how could you? My brain died. I'm sorry. I'm, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. I was talking. Can I finish? Yeah. Go I ahead. I am not turned on when I put this on, but if this is put on a friend of mine, what will happen to me? All right. Let me see it. I'll put it on. I don't want to. I think it's I. I, it's pretty bad claustrophobia, and this is gonna really fuck me up. No, I'm dude, I really yell at it. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, to be honest, Rogan, can I be honest with you? It, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. No way. It's like hold on. Oh, oh my god! I am turned on by it. How do I see? Yeah, you don't need to see in that, brother. I see. I do. I do all the work. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ew. I hate this man. Don't look at me. <laughs> 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 oh my god! 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 Oh the eyes are fucked up. They look like Miles. <laughs> Honestly, no, I was going to say, now I see why dog fights exist. Like, with motherfuckers that look like that. It's so Dude, insane. I, I, I hate it. Frogan really it's said, I understand Michael Vick now. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, it's fucked up. I don't up. like it in there. No, it's crazy in there. It was crazy for me. I had a lot of theories in there. Did you have any theories? <sighs> I've awoken a beast. This <laughs> <time>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never knew it was there. Ah! A beast has awakened. Do the wolf thing. Oh. 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 I feel primal, but I also feel sexually exhausted. <laughs> I'm spent. Someone give me a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> You're not getting this shit. <laughs> Anyways, your turn. You have to feel this. You have to feel this raw animal sexual magnitude that comes from this mask. I get yeah. furries now. I see. I never thought I got them. Now I get it. You might have to do. You might have to do lump, <laughs> lump first. Lump first. You need to do your lump. Bun first. I have lipstick on. So okay. What do you think? Dude, lump. this is gonna ignite lump. a lot. You're gonna give a lot of people sexual awakening. Yeah, right this is now. good. This is good. Okay, that's. I think if you leave it like that, it might. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? What do you hate about it? <laughs> this is so much better than a hijab. You're modest and you get to express yourself. Say, um, say like bark in Arabic or something. Bark in Arabic? Yeah. How do you do that? You got to put the mic near whoa, your face. Whoa, so whoa, you. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, no. There's this Arabic song. It's like, <laughs> le bo be hab hab. And you have your bark. Le bo be hab hab. How, 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 how. It's a good boy. Ew. Ew. <laughs> How, how? How, how? <gasps> I can't breathe in this shit. This yeah, whole time it's hard, I had right? a coffee stain on my shirt and nobody told me? Yeah, because, you know... <sighs> Frogan kind of told you. No, you guys didn't. Yeah, she said you wear the same shirt all the time. No, I, this is a new one. I put it on for Mario Day because today's March 10th and I oh, knew Oh, yeah, that. happy Mario Day happy this Mario day. day. We're yeah. filming on the 10th. Because because uh, M-A-R and then the one, one is an I and then the zero... Happy Mario Day. Whenever you guys were talking about Mario Day, I was so confused. I was like, I was like three, one, zero. I was That's why like, you got some hair on your lip, girl. Yeah. You've been playing around you with You were like, what, dog. three, one, zero? You got that dog in you. Brogan, you do, you'd be like a really, with that mask on and that fit, you'd be a really that good That dog Tekken. had that Muslim in him. <laughs> yeah, you'd be a really good Tekken character. <gasps> oh. All, our altered beast. Dude, I, I Tech, love, what's his name? Tech Cat or something like that. Dude, I love Tekken. That was like one of my favorite games growing up. It was one of the first video games I ever played. It's back right now. My dad would beat the game. It looks for sick. Me. Yeah, it looks really good. My dad would beat the game for me to unlock all the characters so mm. I could play whatever I wanted because I was like four or five. Mm. And I would always pick Nina. Who's Nina? The blonde bitch. Makes sense. <laughs> Are you guys uh, 
Should we play Tekken in the Mountains? <gasps> Do we have it? I can just get it. Hell How yeah. How would we play it? You just get two controllers and play it on, on the TV screen with my laptop. I have a gaming laptop. Speaking of childhood. Oh, we could. We, you want to fight? I, you want to play Tekken? I'm down to play Tekken. Dude, are you excited? Sick, are you excited for the, by the way, all the content for the Patreon this week is going to be mountain content. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be really, really cool. Mm-hmm. So we're going to probably end up filming a uh, Patreon episode, but we're also going to just be in the mountains. So we're going to, you know, what do you, are you excited for the mountains? Have you ever been uh, at, to a mountain? What do you think you're going to do? Oh, I've been there? to the Smoky Mountains, I think. What's the Smoky? That's, that's, not, that's Colorado, not Tennessee. So I've been somewhere. Where have you Wait, been? no, Smoky Mountains is Tennessee, isn't Tennessee. it? Tennessee. What's the Smoky Mountains? What was it like? Cabin. And they had pink moths there. Was it like a cabin, like a reel in the middle of fucking nowhere? Yeah, I got hate crime there when I went, though. Well, that makes By sense. a bear? We went, we went to, like, downtown Nashville, I think, and we were getting ice cream, and somebody told me they didn't understand my accent, and I'm just like, <laughs> I don't have an accent. What do you mean they didn't understand your accent? Ask the stupid dumb bitch at the ice cream place. What would you say? I was ordering, like, ice cream. And she's like, say it, though, because sometimes I you say... I can't understand you. I'm like, bitch. I don't think you got hate crime, but I think she just really couldn't understand you. I feel like because I didn't talk like a K-Kona, she could understand me. Talk like a one right now. Yeah, do it. I can't, I, I can't do it. I'm I'll not a hillbilly. Hell, hell yeah, brother. Hell I'm gonna yeah, go up brother. To the, I'm going to go up to the mountains. I'm going to have sex with a lot of people that I'm related to. If I'm right, brother, pound it. Let me get that pound. Tie fighter. <laughs> what? Did you like that? No, I hated that. Dude, it was a tie fighter though. What happened to Dragon Ball Z? Oh yeah, so there's some sad news t- today. Uh, well, not today. It happened last week, kind of. Uh, the uh huh. Happened Friday. Last week. This comes out on Wednesday. Yeah. 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 Last week. Let him talk. Uh, a key. <laughs> Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, that whole universe, fortunately passed away. And it is, I was I was greatly affected by it. It was a huge upbringing for me. I know you guys both aren't into anime or no, that kind of stuff at all. My favorite part of Dragon Ball Z was whenever Tien holds Cell back with Kikoho's in the Cell Saga. That shit was the best. Did you research that? <laughs> Did you chat GPT? No. What's your favorite part of Dragon Ball Z? Uh, when Krillin and Android 18 get together because it re- gave short King's egos. Are you she talking to it. me in memes? <laughs> no. she, she watched it. I used to watch it. What do you mean you used to watch she's it? She's not going to be disrespectful. Like she's, she genuinely used to watch no, it. No, because she's smiling at me and she does this during One Night Werewolf. So I know she's lying. She did something weird. Somebody really important to me died, and you're making fun of it. I'm not making fun of it. I'm being knowledgeable. I did research. I could console you. So you, you did. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's really sweet, actually. That's really sweet. Thank you. But don't pretend like you didn't do research. I did multiple things to make this work, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you what I did. I put a tweet out. I said... Ah! <laughs> I put a tweet out. I said... I deleted it because I knew you were going to look on Twitter. Yeah, I would have. Um... I was like, I, I was like, what can I say about Dragon Ball Z to impress somebody? You tweeted that. And then I went to Hassan's Discord server. Yeah. Then did I you really to... tweet that? When did you tweet that? On the way here. <laughs> she did it when I couldn't look at my phone. And then I, then I asked my friends, and they said, I have a whole list of things. I can't tell yeah. if this is insane or if she's just trying to be a really good friend. Like it's 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 compassionate, is what it is. It's really sweet. You didn't do any of this shit. No, I wanted you to just suffer in silence. Yeah, thank you for that. No, but like, honestly, Dragon Ball is... is If you really cared about Raph, you would go Super Saiyan. (laughs) Go Super Saiyan right now. I'm not going to do it, so you guys can edit it. (laughs) Come on, go Super Saiyan. Because then what we can do, I can can green screen some... I can do this for you. I can edit. I can make you turn Super Saiyan. But I'll turn you into like a little... Okay, I didn't want... I have it in my head already. this, This is not disrespectful, dead. You know, I know that there's like a big respect thing. Number one, I never watched Dragon Ball Z, but it was the first anime that I was aware of as a child. Besides, yeah, Pokemon. a lot of people's anime. It was the first anime I was aware of. So yeah. it was an awesome anime. It was the first one that transcended to, into the Americas for me personally, and it was the one that I watched probably the most episodes of. Besides Pokemon, I watched mm-hmm. almost all of Pokemon. So I will do this out of respect. <laughs> that was good enough. I'll take it. That was good. What about you? 
What about me? Do it. I'm not gonna do it right now. Why? Because that was a lot for me to Please handle. Please do it. That was so much for me to handle. <laughs> Since you did it, now I need to see you do it. Uh, no, because now I'm nervous and I'm embarrassed by this. It'll be good. Super no, sad. if you guys want to see somebody do it, just go watch Will Neff do it. Did Will Neff do it recently? He did. It was so <laughs> good. Did. It was great. Don't you want to honor him? Will Neff? No, the rest in peace. A- Akira Toriyama? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you want to do it? Mm-hmm. Do it. You should. This is so silly. <laughs> you guys are staring at me. Stop. I'm shy. Ah! It's good enough. That's really good. Thank you. Also, I just want to say that Krillin only married Android 18 after they removed the implant or whatever it was inside of her that made her uh, an android in the first place. So they basically just like gave her a heart. And then he married her after that. But he's always like tried to bring her on the right side of good. But wasn't he a short king, though? Yeah, he's short, but there's nothing to do about that. It's all about his compassion. All I'm going to say is I hated Dragon Ball Z GP. GT. GT. And <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's, guys, a, that's a common thought. All right, guys. This concludes this week's. Wait, let me, hold on. Before we end. No, no, no. Hold, no, hold on. No, I actually have one more I thing to say. Right. I did it right this time. No, no, you time. did Listen, do it right this time. No, I have we, one more thing to we're say. We're in the middle of a conversation. No, we, I have one more thing to say. No. I just have one hold more thing on. to say, and I'm good. Hold on. We were in the middle of a conversation. You can't keep doing this. <laughs> guys, this concludes this week's episode. No, wait, wait. wait. I really have one more thing to say. Because it, it, tie, it ties into it ties in. Okay. It ties in. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> dude, what the fuck you? You ruined my flow. Dragon Ball Z is, has a huge Latin like fan base, mm-hmm. and so there's like rumors going around. Not sure how real this is that the Mexican cartel administered a ceasefire <laughs> and cease <Dude>. cease <laughs> operations in memoriam of Akira Toriyama. That's right. Really and cool. then in real news. That ha- they actually had a whole parade for, and it looks it's the shittiest looking parade. But bless their hearts, they did they did it. I know. I feel like yeah. I feel like Dragon Ball Z. Like although I didn't watch it much when I was younger, my brother really liked it when I was growing up. I feel like it had like an impact on like every fucking like person our age, and like you see all the memes, like the Goku memes being Muslim and shit. Like mm-hmm. no, Dra- Dragon Ball Z is a, is is really is the cool. anime. Is the anime like, worldwide? That's what I'm saying like. Uh, you know it's one of those things it's just like we're coming from a place of like i didn't watch it but i watched eno- it was the anime that i watched the most of you know what i'm saying like if i watched any anime that dragon ball z i probably know the most of 100 percent. and you know like one piece is the one of the most popular if not the most popular right now but dragon ball z is is the first has like really like put everything kind of like is the first on tier. the map i yeah. would say for for the outer world it's the first here and it was the first one that i was aware of as a kid and it was the first one that like I knew to watch, so it's like sad to lose someone who uh, impacted probably so many fucking people. So many people. So many fucking people. And kind of young, too. They were only 68, I believe. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. Man. Anyways. And it's really one of those things that's like, yeah, just joking about Dragon Ball, not the not the person. Yeah. Um, but anyways. The music in the final fight with Gobin and Cell is so much better in the OG show than in Kai. This is like insane. This I'm is looking because you know what's crazy is I was like, why are you on your phone? Like in my head, I was like, why are you on yeah, your phone? On just like I had to practice. In and my then head. I, and now I know that you were on your phone reading the responses to this. Tell them, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tell them whatever. Thank you. I, it was really I, nice. I, it was sweet. I tried to put effort in. No, I appreciate it. It was really nice because I did try Chat GPT and I was like, this is gonna sound fucking robotic as shit. Like they're talking about power ups and, um. Oh, this, somebody also told me to say that one character had the most character growth in the series, but I forgot who. Vegeta? Yeah. Vegeta had a lot of character gro- growth. Goku kind of stays the same. Vegeta kind of becomes a n- nicer version of himself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I tried. It was nice. I appreciate it. What'd you do? Would you like to... Yeah, would you like to just... Would you like to wrap us up now? I love Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I, I love like the, balls. I love the video game a lot. Dragon D's the, nuts. The, some of the games came out there were really cool, but a lot of them I played. Yeah, oh, cool. They were really cool. Cool. I, what was the one that was like an open world one you can like fight in the big ass world? I played the shit out of that game. It's either it's either Kakarot or it's... I think it's like Kakarot. Huh? There's no way you play Kakarot. It's not Kakarot. It's the other one. When did it come out? 
Do you know? Like ten, seven years ago. It might have been Kakarot. Yeah, I did play Kakarot. Is it all green? Because it, it was all... Kakarot just came out. No, no. No, it didn't. Kakarot came out about seven years ago. Super new. We'll look it up. Um, I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's either Kakarot. It's not Budokai because there's might have been Budokai, the third one. Is it the one that's like all green pastures and then you fight in there and you can like fly and shit? Because I played the shit out of that game. That was one of the planets. Yeah. Okay, then that's it. So it was it like was there like a board and like you would move to that board and then you would like fly around that area or whatever? Yeah, it's a fighting game, right? Yeah. So I think it was probably Budokai three. Okay, I love that game. Or Budokai 2, whatever it was, yeah. What I had it, it was good. It was a good one. Thank you for that. Yeah. I, dude, I, I mad respect. Uh, I love... Oh, it's so weird. Yeah, it is weird. Okay, anyways, that concludes this week's episode. We're not going to have a little Patreon teaser because the actual teaser is going to be us in the mountains, so we're just going to run some B-roll of people in the mountains because the only place that you can see us in the mountains is on Patreon. Mm -hmm. So if you have not subscribed to this podcast, if you are new, all the new people to this podcast... Please comment down below. Every single person that comments, I made it to the end. It is the most beautiful thing ever. We read them. It's awesome. I love the I made it to the end comments. Um, the second thing is follow us on all of our links down below. If you haven't followed us on Twitch, do that first. Then follow us on Twitter next. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate it, every single person. Guys, thank you so much for getting us to YouTube partner. Woo! This is like insane. And we're at 2,200 subscribers Anime confetti now. coming in. And this is our 10th episode. This is our big 10, our Ben 10 episode. Yeah. So uh, huge success. Big success. Big success. We've got to 10 episodes. So if this gets canceled to the next 10 episodes, you'll know why. It's definitely this episode that one of us is going to get canceled for. Yeah, so. 100%. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. This time on stalker killer dude i okay i want to say something really fucked up yeah oh give me that pussy the aki way <laughs> majora first you put the malibu majora <laughs> on the grill then you put the cheese then you wrap, then it, you up. wrap it up